So for Gun Lancer, this was my main. So I opened up all of my tripods pages and I got 30 of them. Guys, again, this has to do with what I have done. Like, what, it's, like the, it's not the answer for it, right? So the most important tripod that you guys should always be getting it through the skill inventory is ready attack over here, level 5. And this is because it impacts every single one of your skills. And then I have the three of them for charge stinger. And then you have another three for search cannon. How many is that? That's seven. So you have two more tripods for the free ones. You can either go for the cooldown on the Shadow Hatred and cooldown for Nelasha. That is the two pages free total. But some people may say, oh, Nelasha is not that important. It's better to go something else, right? Uh, then you guys can do something else for that. Now, if you open another page, you have another six. That means you can get Dash Upper Fire, one, two, three. Spear Shot, one, two, three. Now, if you open another page, you have another option. You can level a Fire Bullet, one, two, three because this is a sub skill and you also have another option from this point on everything is an option the counter spear you can put it to damage one the two damage tripods so that would be five tripods and then maybe you could either use one of them for the six tripod now the last page another six additional tripods that you can add in is something like the chaos dungeon ones and you have three more skills left over right so that'd be the last 30 uh is what i've got was i got something like the blue gun lancer skills you know you got the attack speed one and then you got the damage and you got the damage i've already done all my tripods very long time ago so i actually had additional tripods that i can actually utilize at the same time too so i have the blue gun lancer stuff too so if you're a blue gun lancer you would focus on guardian and then you would focus on the shield slam and then a leap attack and then the shield charge. These are, these are all three. So you will have two pages of work for this. So main priority, if you're a blue gun lancer, you get this, the ready attack tripod, work on the guardian, and then work on the shield bash, the shield charge, and the leap attack. So you would need to open up one page at least uh, to get everything ready to go. But if you're a blue gun lancer, buy one page and get all the blue tripods, and then you will be done. At the same time, if you want to open more pages, maybe open up a slot for a red gun lancer. So if you're a gun lancer user, you have enough tripods to go both red or blue. Uh, that's the best thing about this particular update because you will be able to switch to blue or switch to red if you want to. Uh, you just need to switch up the engravings and combat stats. Tripod, you don't have to worry about anything. And gems too. I'm playing a Mayhem Zerker, so it's a little different. And as far as I know, Red Dust is the most important skill that you should level up a tripod because it impacts your crit rate. So you need that tripod 100% to move over. And then your primary other different skills. You have the Finish Strike. I get it as 4-5. And I got it at the Tempest Stash as 5-5-5 five, five, five. on the cooldown. The Strike Wave, I got it as 4-5. And Hellblade as at 5-5 five, five on the two of them. And then the chain sword, I did leveled up as the crit related tripod. This particular ones, I could level it up. So you notice how most of my skills are not there, right? Most of the tripods are not ready to go. This is because I only use two pages. But if I get these basic skills done, my low paying ult, technically with the full relic, uh, will get its job done and gets MVP sometimes on the guardian raids. So it's enough. I actually never play BT. It probably has to do with, let's say, a mountain crash. I would focus on something that is related to meter gain. Because meter gain is very important for BT, Zerker. So I would focus on those tripods first, move it over, transfer over, so you can have it as level 5 guaranteed. And then uh, utilize something like Finish Strike or some of the main DPS skills. And obviously, at the same time, the Red Dust and Chain Sword is very important to increase that crit rate. Unless you don't need it. But since I don't have that much knowledge on BT Zerker, uh, that will be the thought process on that. But if a meter gain is very important, that's what you do. Destroyer's case, the blue skills is not that very important, at least to me, except was for Endure Pain. For example, this case over here, the last one, uh, it increased the, the lasting amount by five seconds. So the Endure Pain buff lasts five seconds if you put it to level five. And now going over, Perfect Swing must be three. So you have a page ready for Perfect Swing. And then the next big skill, something like Seismic Hammer, can be three. You can put it on cooldown. You can also just use Tenacity, but most people use it on cooldown, so you can use it faster. Again, someone in chat said, 
you use the third tripod now. It said it gives damage. This gives damage, right? That means, oh wait, this gives damage, so it's great. Before the tripod change, I did not know. So here's the here's the tip that we can learn. Instead of this session of me talking about tripod is not what tripod to get. What was the thought process on it? And what could have been done to prevent it? And this is for you guys to learn it. So imagine you guys have these tripods too. If you if I have put myself this to level five, what would have happened? I would have got a token and this would have been level five. But the point is, if I had additional tripods, I could have this as level five and this as level five. And let's say, imagine like a new meta build comes out and you need to use this tripod. And if you already have it as level five, you're Gucci, right? And for full swing, this is the same thing I have. This is a cooldown one, but you could also use a speed one too. But I have it as level four. Uh, this was a freebie. This was a freebie too. So in this case, uh, I focused it on just the purple skills and the blue skills are just meter gain. So I haven't really probably figured it out about it. After the change though, the destroyer, they have a new tripod where you can actually impact meter gain. So this particular skill gives you additional meter. So this is like the gravity training build. You have it here too. If you're actually thinking of playing the new destroyer with the gravity training, the new gravity training build, you would just level the tripod here and then you would just have it in the future. I mean, destroyer is expecting a tripod change, right? So if this particular tripod is something else, you level it up beforehand and after the patch, you'll have this uh, tripod level up after the patch so you don't have to spend the gold or wait for the items to be on the auction house for you to buy it. So this is one of those things that you can take advantage of uh, versus the new players that come in after the tripod change. So some of you guys are thinking you're supposed to use this or you're supposed to use that. That is not the point of this video. Uh, the point of this video is what you should prepare. And for example, if this, if this particular tripod is the right one, you guys are seeing this as a different tripod, get this one, put it in the, and transfer it to the library. After the patch, you're gonna be having this as level five. But in this case, my particular destroyer is an alt, right? It's, it's just, I don't even play this alt anymore as much because I don't have much time. Uh, that's why I put as minimum tripods that I want, just two pages. Perfect swing, seismic hammer, one page, and then full swing of earth ears, only two pages. And then I have one tripod left over, so where am I gonna put it on? I will put it on Endure Pain. And then I, won't, I don't need to spend any additional blue crystals to bring additional tripods if I want to. But if you guys want to add more tripods in, it's better for you to open that skill inventory up and then add that tripod in. Now let's talk about Paladin. Paladin is super simple. I didn't even open up one page uh, because Paladin doesn't take that much tripods because this is one tripod here and this is one tripod there. Uh, the mana, mana recovery tripod too, right? This one has tripod for shield and this one has tripod for distance. And this one, I don't have a tripod because I didn't bother to get it. And this one is a meter gain tripod. And this one, I didn't get it. And this particular one, this is based on speed. So I got the tripod for that. And then this this particular, I got tripod. So Paladin players, if your main is a Paladin, uh, my personal opinion is I would open up every single page and I would try out different tripods because they have different styles, except the meter gain ones. The meter gain ones are very important. So if I was, if I was you guys, let's say you're a Paladin main. So you see I have as tenacity. You can also level this if you want, just to try it out, to see how much it impacts your, uh, meter gain, but if this isn't being used who cares you have it you have it there for free and also I don't use this particular skill But some people do use the skill or some people use this uh, the holy area skill as well And they use explosions too. You couldn't use this skill because you don't have the tripods for it, right? So if you have a build in mind that you want to test it out for example this holy area Oh man, this cooldown tripod is so hard to get so I can't use it anymore. When I say for free, you gotta get it for good for as 100% after the new update if you pre-prepare it before. So you level something like the cooldown for it so you can use it later. Uh, same case if you happen to use this uh, particular for marking, there's also a meter gain skill here too, meter gain tripod. So you can actually use it for meter gain instead of marking. And for blue skills, you could try different things too the counter skill, the holy sword, and then you have the executioner sword. You can actually use this particularly for additional damage. The freedom of you trying different things is, is going to open up a lot to you if you prepare your tripods way earlier. Also, in a gimmick standpoint, a very last thing, if you want to try DPS Paladin, now is the time. Free buy it. 
and then put it on the the skill inventory and then you can try it very cheap because you guys really like dps paladins and at worst case scenario you'll be stronger in chaos dungeons right that was the warrior side boys so again uh, if i summarize it it's based on the commentary was based on what i have prepared it and then even though it's a right or wrong i have the tripods ready to go i leveled it up i'm gonna i keep this tripod for forever i have this tripod forever unless a big thing happens but uh, if you pre-prepare earlier on all the tripods will be ready to go and then i have no problem to you know spend additional pounds in the future to get something that that i wanted to do okay that being said, this concludes the warrior section.